Airtable is it the right no code tool for you and for your project. In this video, I'm going to talk through my top three favorite features in Airtable and help you decide whether it's worth your time, investment, and energy. No code. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when I first encountered Airtable, I was like, what's this funny looking spreadsheet and what's the big deal about it? I couldn't quite understand why there was so much hype about it, but I felt there was something really powerful in it and I decided I would just start to use it as a to-do list inside of my business. I didn't realize that it would literally transform the way I do business and every single process inside of my business, how I work with all of my team members and with all of my clients, it has completely transformed everything and created a huge amount of efficiencies inside of my business. I'm I'm going to talk through my top three favorite features inside of Airtable so that you can see what a power user inside of Airtable can achieve with it and stick around in particular for number three because it's probably the one feature that I evaluate in every single no code tool that I use to assess whether it's worth taking it on and whether it's worth spending time learning that particular tool and adding it to my no code stack. Top feature number one well it's got to be Airtable automations. Airtable has a native inbuilt drag and drop automation builder and designer inside of every single Airtable base that you create. Airtable has quite a range of complex fields that you can use including formula fields, roll-up fields, button fields, checkbox fields and all of these fields combined with the power of the automation designer inside of Airtable creates a huge amount of process and workflow automation that you can build into every single process and system inside of your business. Effectively what Airtable automations allows you to do is create almost custom software for your business. Find anything that is a repetitive or redundant task and eliminate the manual nature of those types of tasks. So what exactly can you automate? Send emails, schedule emails, create documents, attach documents, send reminders to clients, send reminders to colleagues, schedule all of your social media posting, run payroll, automate your invoicing, automate your invoice chase up, create contracts and send them to clients, client onboarding. The possibilities are truly endless and I haven't even scraped the surface here. Moving on to top feature number two, it's got to be views and interfaces. Airtable has seven default views that you can use to display your underlying data in your Airtable base. Anybody inside of your Airtable base is able to create a view. So you might, for example, like to have a view for yourself in a particular table. And then you might also have team members who like to have a particular view that they like to use in order to interact with the same data in that table. And each table or tab inside of a base can have as many of these views as you would like. When you update data in any view inside of the base, it updates the underlying data so that any other view in the base is automatically updated and everybody is always looking at the single source of truth but they might be looking at it in lots of different ways through using lots of different views. Recently, Airtable has created something that's called Interface Designer. Interface Designer is a drag and drop visual view creator. I find that I use it to give access to some of my team members who might otherwise be a little bit overwhelmed by the Airtable base that I have built and who might run away and not actually adopt the Airtable process that I have built out. You can actually design the interface using drag and drop elements, components inside of the Interface Designer in such a way that the user is most inclined to use that interface and to interact with your data. And I suppose what you're getting through the use of Interface Designer is buy-in from your other team members by making actually their workflow and their life easier by you putting a little bit of thought into how their interface would best suit them and how it would be most inclined to be useful to them in their everyday day-to-day -day operation. Top feature number three, it probably has to be the Airtable API. Now, if you're not sure what an API is, the key thing is what the Airtable API lets you do. And so an API allows a piece of software to communicate with other softwares. And so by virtue of Airtable having an API, there's this huge ecosystem of directly complementary tools that have grown around Airtable and they integrate with your Airtable base to basically give your Airtable no-code backend superpowers. You can effectively use your data and your business processes that you have built and designed in Airtable. You can now integrate all of that with virtually any other piece of software that you use out there because Zapier and Integramat, now called Make, have made it really easy for no coders like you and me to use what's called an API without realizing that we're using an API and to connect all of our softwares together. It doesn't stop there. With Airtable, there is really quite a deep ecosystem out there and there are some huge businesses that are developing out there purely around the aspect of building a front end that sits on top of your Airtable backend database. And what I mean by a front end 
end is basically a web app or a mobile app or a web page that's driven by your data and your information inside of your Airtable base. So this is a really powerful feature for Airtable to have inside of its ecosystem. And it's all made possible by this API feature inside of Airtable itself. Some really amazing front end tools that you might like to check out are things like Glide Apps, which actually just recently launched a native Airtable integration. There's another one called Adalo, and it's more focused on mobile apps and it's really easy to integrate with Airtable table as well and then there's my personal favorite one which is softer softer is incredible for no coders because you can build a web app or a web page that is driven by your Airtable data and you can get a really complex highly functioning web app up and running within less than half an hour using the likes of software. Airtable is such a flexible and versatile tool. At its core, it's a relational database that looks like a spreadsheet. But really what happens is your Airtable starts to become the custom software in your business that starts to naturally grow out and start to take over all of the other legacy or historic softwares that you might have had. You'll find that they'll fall away. You're going to be able to build all of the functionality and automation that you'd like yourself and for your business specifically based on how your process processes actually work rather than trying to squeeze your process or make your process align to a software that has been built for every other business out there. And so for it's all of these reasons that I think Airtable is definitely worth your time investment and your energy in learning how to use it. If you are thinking about starting with Airtable, then I really think you'd enjoy this tutorial as your next video. Go and check that out. It'll show you some of the beginning steps in Airtable and let you really turbocharge your Airtable journey. So if you got any value out of today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me get my videos out there and helps me grow my channel. I'd also really motivates me in producing more content like this and as always thank you very much for watching and for staying to the end of the video